you flow into part two with yours true to you, Fat Five and my Fat man. Five and the gal. Get your man to cow out, up boy. in this piece, you know what I'm saying? Been a, it's been a long time since we hung out. Matter of fact, the first time when I actually hung with the brothers from the Wu-Tang Clan, which includes my man Method Man, was yeah. on the Saturday video, and that was yeah, cool. Yeah, chess boxing, you know what I mean? Word yeah, up. Yeah. Fred been with us since, like, day one, baby. He fam mean? out this cut. Word up. Not only that, but Method Man just told me a real interesting story. Yeah. And one time, about three years ago, he saw me hanging out, and what'd you tell me? Yeah, I was like, yo, Freddie, man, I'ma see you one day on there. What's up? I'ma see you one day on your own TV rap. I was with my man Raider Ruckus coming from seeing the P.O. Word up. <laughs> and now it's all good. And we on the New York Apple tour. We just cruising around. Money making Manhattan, baby. Because, yeah. you know, Method Man liked them buses. Word up. I got a little fetish for the buses, boy. <laughs> word, word. Matter of fact, we had the bus in my video. Bring the pain. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Word up. It came fat. That was my idea, too. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to have a good time. You know, cool out. Cruise around. Money making Manhattan. Hey, what up, baby? It's all good. Yeah. Your, your TV raps is Oh cooking, my baby. god, get him on camera. <laughs> Yo. Get him on camera. <laughs> yeah. That's my man Mongo right there. Mongo. Yo. Well, guess what, Mongo? Wait, we gotta go into this video now. We're gonna talk Yo, to Mongo. We're gonna go into my video, bring the pain. Your own TV raps, your all peace. Not just method, but methodical. And then he broke it down to just to cow. Wow, yes, and to cow so. is uh huh. You know ah, yeah. It you know what it, it is. You know what it is. But yo, you know the thing about the Wu Tang Clan, Method Man, Oh Dirty, yeah. The RZA, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Ray Kwan, Inspector Deck, the whole flavor that you guys are able to come, drop heavy and hard yeah. with a group yeah. as one, yeah. and then to do your things as one. Yeah. Was that well, was that a strategy from the beginning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was planned from the beginning. I was always going to be the solo one out the click, you know, and like a few other brothers was chose to be solo, like Old Dirty and Genius. But as far as the whole clique coming together, that was planned too because we knew that if we came in with the strength and power of numbers, that it'd be all good up in there, man, that we couldn't get faulty because it was always somebody there to watch the backs of everybody else. And plus, we brought it in on a family thing, you know what I'm saying? Family had to be stressed in the 90s, man, because we was losing our black brothers a day. You know what I mean? And it's time to unify. And we show what you can do if you bring your numbers together and your minds together and come together as one mind. You can do anything in the world, baby. Mm, mm, mm. That's real good, real strong. Yeah, well, we on this bus flowing through Money Making Manhattan. You know what I'm saying? It's a New York City Apple Tour yes, thing. And we cruising, you know, and getting the flavor deep down and direct from my man Method Man and baby 125th Street. One, two, five. You know what I'm saying? One, With up. the Method Man, no Fab black. Five up in this piece. You know what I'm saying? And we just cooling, getting deep into the flavors and so talk a little bit about this album, you know, which is called Takao. I mean, I, I spoke on the Takao concept yeah. a little bit. You might want to expound on that. And just tell us a little bit about the songs and concepts that inspire you. All right, well, this album, basically, this whole Takao album is like a cornucopia of emotions, you know what I'm saying? It's like all my people's on my block crying through me because that's my whole influence in this hip-hop business. You know what I'm saying? My block, my ghetto, my environment. People ask me, like, um, who are my idols? My idols is the regular street thugs that I was around growing up. Those was my idols, because they taught me they taught me how to be a man, how to live, this, that, and the third, when the old dad wasn't around, whatever, whatever. So Takal is expressing every black man's emotions within the ghetto, and he's trying to get out, but he always can get out because his mind is free. Mm -hmm. Word up. You can't never trap a black man's mental. Whoa. That's kind of deep. Matter of fact, as we are on 125th Street, where, you know, all those scenarios are going down right now. You know what I'm saying? 125th Street, Harlem, USA. Yeah. What's the, up, y'all? Yeah. You know, it's a real fly thing right now. You know, cruising around Manhattan with my man, the Method Man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, what's been happening for, like I said, a lot of members of the Wu-Tang Clan, you know, a lot of people are blown up on their solo careers now. We got yeah. some trees coming by. We got to duck down. So you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> but one of the things that's been happening to you is you've been coming like, you know, a pretty big star. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of ladies are real happy about your flavor. You know what I'm saying? And I know the fans yeah, well, rushing up on you and everything. How, how are you managing to still keep your balance and keep it real with all that jumping off? Ain't nothing sweet. Word up. First of all, if you running up on me, you got to slow that up, cat, straight off the bat. You know what I'm saying? I give respect to those that'll just come by and be like, yo, I respect your joint. Peace. 
Word life. That's how that's how you should approach anybody. You can't be running up on people like that. Word up, because they will take it the wrong way. And as far as you know what I'm saying, how I get down, it's like, yo, man, I'm the easiest person to approach and talk to. Peace, black man. See what I mean? Easiest person to come up and just talk to. You got something on your mind? You know what I'm saying? You wanna ask me a question about something? You know what I'm saying? Approach me in the right manner and ask me in a nice manner and I'll talk to you all day, man. Word up, I'm here to build. And so, but basically as far as living, you're still in Shaolin? Yeah, I'm still in Shaolin land, boy. But you know what, another thing I wanted to know, like the whole, the whole Kung Fu movie thing has played a big part in a lot of the stuff that, uh, you know, the Wu-Tang has done in terms of your inspiration. Got guys drilling and stuff over there. Look at them, Frankie. Men at work. Men at New York work. City, baby. Work. That whole Kung Fu flavor that inspires a lot of your stuff. What's that about? Besides well, it was going like, to the Kung Fu It movie. was like we, we wasn't basically into the, the art of Kung Fu and stuff like that as far as the physical, but we was into the mental concept of it. You know what I'm saying? Work. But yo, we going through some deep mentals right now, baby. Yeah, Just yeah. swinging through the streets of New York. Men at work, mad construction going on in the Method Man. And I got to feel the light on my face so y'all can see me. Fist clog up the artery quick with overdosage. My lethal injected home be in the zone. Find me your spot in the shade and call it home. Recline, let a brother drink wine and get a joan. Mad Max, the mental is sharp, my terror dome. And half with the logical staff, the aftermath. A bloodbath, phrases, cliches, all in there. Now. How could a brother get down if he can't get up? You're caught in the darkness. Come here, I light your sh up. Word up. Ah, uh, yeah. Flavors from my man, Method Man. And yo, MTV Vibes just cruising. Oh, okay, okay. Well, as far as myself, it's everywhere. There's many methods to my style. Ghostface Killer, the name explains it right there. There you have it, he a Ghostface Killer. Master Killer, he mastered the art of killing. He begins with his, you know, his mental sword, you know what I mean? The RZA razor sharp, double-edged sword is his tongue. The Jizza, he the genius, name explains itself. Inspector Deck, he's the watcher. Golden arms, the golden arms. He come with the golden type of arms, the blast brothers up from every angle. Who am I forgetting? Raekwon the chef, you know chef is cooking up the marvelous, ha, huh, chef in it. Word up. Mm. And my man ODB, y'all know ODB out his mind. Word up. He old, he dirty, and ain't no staff, ain't no father to his style, so you know you're bastard. Word <laughs> mad, up. mad, mad flavors. Now tell me a little bit about working with, with Mary J. Blige. Oh, it was peace, man. Mary showed crazy love. Showed up in the morning, left late at night. I got you gotta have mad respect for that, for red. And, and the vibe you were trying to bring out in the video. Well, basically, the whole front piece got cut out and the whole ending, so y'all gonna be lost, for real. But I, I tried to, you know what I'm saying, make it seem like I was on my way to the store to get something for. And by the end of the video, when I come back in the lab, everybody knows what it is. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, let's roll into that video. Yes, sir. This is the joint for me, featured Mary J. All I need, y'all, check it out. Yo, MTV, red ass.